Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of the Definitive Guide to Wager Matches. This one will be one in the chamber and it's part one of my super duper let's commentate three videos in a row series. So to start off with one in the chamber, I'm just going to point this out to the start. It is okay to camp in this game, completely okay to camp. It's a wager match, you're betting COD points, you're not just betting a stupid kill death ratio. So it is completely okay to camp. A next tip, I don't not sure how many people will probably know this, but you saw at the start I knife someone. Always knife if you can, because you get an extra bullet. See I've got two bullets there. But don't take the extra risk. If you don't think you can get there to knife him before he can turn round and shoot you, because remember you've got you've not got ninja, it's extremely easy to sound tour in this. That's why you'll see me I always walk about crouching. Uh, so always just take the shot if you can. And I get a fucking host migration. Uh, make sure you dead on with the shot. It does take quite a lot of practice. Your accuracy does need to be dead on in this game. If you miss your shot, just run around like a lunatic, dolphin dive, that kind of stuff. Just so that no one can get anywhere near you to kill you. I'm pretty sure this one is on high roller because people were telling me to play high roller. Don't camp in obvious places like that where people can see you. That guy did take a nice shot there though, I must say, indeed. Another thing is, once I use my first or my second life, I go into proper camping mode. As you see there, I've got survivor bonus popping up at the top of the screen. That means someone's lost all three of their lives, and they now have none left, which you get an extra 10 points. So if you're drawn with someone and you last longer than them with all three of your lives, you'll win the game because you lasted longer. So camping can... I'm just going to put this in late, that's what she said. I know it's a bit late, but I had to say it. Uh, so yeah, it's a good idea to just camp this game out and take it super safe. When it gets down to the last two, it's all just about just trying to outsmart your opponent, trying time the time delay on the radar screen to just, as you see I'm being evasive. My best one ever was when I was being evasive, a dolphin dived, he missed, stood up and knifed him. That was, was probably my nicest kill ever and I managed to somehow get the kill there. So yeah, just remember it's completely okay to camp in this game. You want to get a good spot where you can watch a doorway, watch two doorways, but it's not so easy to shoot you. Just your top of your head showing as if you can. And that's really about it. It's just get your accuracy dead on as well and you should be fine. Get a headset and sound tour, that really does help a lot as well. So bye and like it.